Hello students, welcome all of you in Shamsar's Biology. Now we are going to discuss about an important topic of photosynthesis chapter that is Z scheme. This Z scheme is totally related with the flow of electron during photosynthesis or during light reaction. So all of you know photosystems, there are two photosystems photosystem second and photosystem first photosystem second receives the sunlight of specific wavelength photosystem first will also receive sunlight of specific wavelength and both the photosystems and the reaction center present in these photosystem will repel the electron and that electron is how move forwards this is the z scheme or this is the concept so we can say Z scheme is the topic totally related with the electron transport, right? So for the electron transport, there should be an electron transport system. So this electron transport system is also present in thylakoid membrane consisting several types of cytochromes. That is cytochrome B6, cytochrome F. So step by step, how this Z scheme will take place, we are going to discuss here. Now, so to start the Z scheme, we should know about PS second or the flow of electron started from PS second. So in PS second, what is the reaction center? Reaction center is P680. P680. So how this Z scheme takes place? Okay, let's start. So different different sunlights or we can say sun rays reaches to the P680, P680 will become excited and after exciting it repels the electron, it repels the electron, okay. So actually after absorbing the sunlight, chlorophyll goes into excited state, before accepting the sunlight that chlorophyll A is in ground state, okay, or also we can say it is in steady state. But accepting the light, it will become excited and it will repel the electron and this P680 will achieve positive charge. That means this is the iodized state. Okay. So these are the three successive states of chlorophyll A. Ground state, excited state and ionized state. Okay. So now P680 is in ionized state. Chlorophyll A680 repels the electron. Now this electron is trapped by electron acceptor electron acceptor so which is the ele first electron acceptor here so name is phytophytin phytophytin so when electron will repel from ps second that electron will be accepted by phytophytin in our NCRT, just electron acceptor word is given but which the which one this electron acceptor this is phytophytin and electron is moving in upward direction in short we can say so it is called uphill transport of electron which transport it is uphill transport of electron now electron is it at electron acceptor now this electron acceptor will forward this electron towards electron transport system or we can say towards electron carriers and these electron carriers are nothing but different different cytochromes out of these cytochrome b6 then cytochrome f okay now flow of electron how takes place from ps second to electron acceptor now electron is at electron carrier complex that is cytochrome b6 f complex then this electron is forwarded or transported towards next photosystem that is ps first ps first is nothing but p700 or chlorophyll a 700 so actually when light of having wavelength 700 nanometer this P700 molecule will accept that light and it will pass the electron like PS second. It will also pass the electron 
and before this electron reaching to the PS first, it is in ionized state. Okay, look carefully. At a time, 680 nanometer wavelength and 700 nanometer wavelength will come. This molecule will receive 680, this molecule will receive 700. Both the molecules will repel the electron. Okay, so this electron will go through this channel. Then what about electron from the PS first? So PS, the electron from the PS first is also repelled. It is also accepted by electron acceptor and it is again forwarded to electron carriers or electron transport system. Okay, so this is the basic thing. So now the electron is at now here. That means this lost or this electron from the PS second is now reaching to the PS first. Okay, so PS first will receive that electron. It will again achieve ground state or we can say steady state because it is receiving the electron, it is reducing. So it will achieve a ground state. After achieving ground state, it again receives the different different sun rays of having 700 nanometer wavelength and it will again repel the electron. Clear? Now this electron is accepted by electron acceptor name is FRS that is ferrodoxin reducing substance. Then from this acceptor electron is transported to the electron carrier that is FD ferrodoxin. Now from this ferrodoxin electron is transported to the NADP plus. NADP plus right. This NADP plus will receive the electron and he goes into the state that is NADP. It is trapping this electron. NADP plus trapping the electron and it will attain or it will become NADP. Right? From NADP plus to NADP. Simultaneously, what is happening here? The water molecule, it undergoes photolysis. So after the photolysis, there is a formation of three molecules. One is oxygen, one is proton and one is electron, right? So this electron from the water enter into the PS first, the PS, sorry, PS second. The PS second which is in ionized state, it will again goes into steady state after accepting the electron from the water. Then what about this proton? This proton will transport it towards the NADP plus and it produce NADPH. NADPH. Right? So this is the simple Z scheme. Totally related with the electron transport. So we will summarize it now. How this Z scheme takes place and why it is called a Z scheme actually. So sunlight of having wavelength 680 nanometer will receive by P680. Then it will excite it. It repels the electron. This electron is transported to the electron acceptor that is FeO15. Then from FeO15, this electron is transported to the electron transport system consisting different different electron carriers like cytochromes. Then from this electron carrier, this electron is transported to the PS first. Before reaching this electron to the PS first, it is already in ionized state because after accepting the wavelength of 700 nanometer, it will already repel. He already repelled the electron, so that's why it is in ionized state. But this electron when will be received by this P700, it will again goes into steady state. It will uh, then again act as a reaction center, it will receive the sun rays and it again repels the electron. Then this electron is again accepted by electron acceptor of PS first, that is FRS. Then from FRS electron is passed to the electron carrier that is FD. Ferrodoxin. Then from ferrodoxin, this electron is transported to NADP plus. NADP plus is the one type of enzyme we can say. It is important for forming NADPH. 
that is a reducing power. So electron is accepted by NADP plus and it achieves NADP stage. From NADP plus to NADP, simultaneously photolysis of water is takes place. So photolysis of water or the splitting of water molecule takes place into three components: proton, electron, and oxygen. So this electron actually entering into the PS second because it is in ionized state. To become active or to become able to receive the light, it should have to be in ground state. And for reaching the ground state, these electrons are very important. So, in examination point of view, you should know about the flow of electron. So, this electron from the water molecule is at PS second. Then, H plus that is proton. This proton will accepted by NADP and it forms NADPH. Third molecule, oxygen, it will diffuse out from the plant body and the flow of electron is firstly uphill, then it is downhill, again it is uphill and again here it is downhill. So uphill, downhill, uphill, downhill, it gives a characteristic shape that is Z. That's why this concept or this topic is called as Z scheme of flow of electron, right? So in this topic, one point is very important. The lost electron of PS second is replaced by which component? And the lost electron of PS first is replaced by which component? So the lost electron of PS second is replaced by water. And the lost electron of PS first is replaced by PS second. Because this electron will finally enter into the PS first. Right? So PS first gains its electron from the PS second. And PS second gains or it will get its electron from water molecule. Now, important thing. We saw about NADPH formation. Simultaneously, during this electron flow, there is a formation of ATP molecule also. So, where this ATP formation takes place. So, when electrons are transported from different different electron carriers, then there is a synthesis of ATP molecule from the ADP plus Right? So in non-cyclic photophosphorylation or in cyclic photophosphorylation we saw when electrons transported from B6 to F and from FD to B6 there is a synthesis of ATP. So this is that ATP. Okay. So this is the Z scheme. Done? Okay. So if you like this video please share it and subscribe it. Thank you so much.